This is a short overview video of the spider IDE for Python. So here you already see the, the spider is open, but if you're on a Windows machine, um, you can get to it uh, by going into the apps, if you have a newer Windows, um, and then double clicking on the spider icon. On a Mac, you would uh, just go to the folder and double click on spider. So something like this console will pop up. Um, and uh, and you should see an IPython console um, as part of your spider environment. If you don't, you can go to the view button um, and click on panes, and there's the IPython console. There's also an editor opening, and you'll also see the project explorer, which we'll get to in a moment. So here you have your IPython console, the command line. And uh, with any new program you're working with, the first thing to do is always print hello world. And there you are. You've printed hello world. So as I go along in this video, you should be doing the same thing on your computer. Um, so I actually want this to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to scoot this uh, over. And what's nice with the spider environment, you can move all these windows wherever you want to, so they can move next to each other. You can put the editor outside of it or inside, um, but I like this kind of setup. So in the command line, I can also make a list. Um, X and Y lists, and then I'm going to plot. Uh, and what's nice about the spider environment is that it prompts you. So here I'm doing, I want to do a plot, and so it tells me I need some arguments. Um, plot X, Y. And there, I've used um, the matplotlib uh, library to plot just a, a straight line of those x and y values. Um, what if I wanted that figure to actually pop out? I don't want it in line, but um, I want to pop it out into its own uh, little window. So you can go to Tools and Preferences. And in my setup, the Preferences takes a moment to come up. Um, it's because I'm running Windows in parallel inside my Mac um, for, for other reasons. Not something you need to do. So if you go into the Preferences, and I want to change something about my preferences for the IPython console, and I want to change how the graphics work. So, um, so I've clicked on this um, graphics uh, label, and then I'm going to change, rather than them coming in inline, I want them to uh, pop out. So you can either use automatic or QT. I think QT is more robust. Um, so I'm going to apply, press OK, and if I do this, you're going to see it's not going to make that change yet. And so I actually need to go to this upper right, and I need to restart kernel. And this means it's going to apply the uh, preferences that I just set. So I'm restarting this IPython console um, so that it actually has the right preference that I'd like. So there we have our command line again. I'm going to do the same. I could choose any numbers. Um, but I just want to see if now it's plotting differently. So it looks like, oh, where'd the plot go? It's actually hiding behind. And so I like popping the figures out. Um, you can choose your preference. Um, and then with the figure, you could then save it um, and save it to a file, uh, save it as a JPEG or a, any kind of different um, file format. You can also uh, you can resize and zoom in and out. Later uh, problems that you do will have you manipulating figures. Um, so now I want to, so this is using the command line. Um, but in order to make more uh, complex programs in Python, you want to make Python program files, so .py files. And this is where the editor comes in. Um, but first we need to make a workspace for our, for our class um, and all the projects you'll be doing. So this little box explains a little about what is a workspace. Um, and here, so I'm going to put it in my documents. And I'm going to create a new folder called, um, you know, I'm going to call it CTD 2014. 
So that's my new, so this following directory, it says, is not a spider workspace. Do you want to make it a spider workspace? And I'm going to say yes. So now this is my workspace. It's the, the document slash CTD 2014. I'm going to uh, make this um, also my, my overall working space for everything within Spider. So this is the working directory for any new um, IPython consoles, any new um, files. So within that workspace, I'm now going to say file new project. And I, I'm going to call this new project intro to Python. Really, I could have called it intro to spider. And then within that intro to Python uh, project space, I'm going to create a new Python um, program. So it's called a Python module. And so here I am within CTD 2014, intro to Python. And I'm going to call this code overview.py. So there you can see it popped up into the editor space. So there's three spaces in Spider. There's actually more, but for now we'll just work with these three. You have your Project Explorer, which kind of gives you your directory structure. So CTD 2014, intro to Python, and this is the overview.py. And your uh, file editor. So this is overview.py, and I can make changes to it. Um, so I'm going to print hello world in my, so that's in my .py file. Um, if I click uh, file save or control s or apple s in a, or command s in a Mac, um, it saves the file or um, makes sure it saves the changes you made. And then I can run it in two ways. I can either press this little green arrow and that runs a program. Hello world, it printed um, over here. So you can see how the editor space speaks with the IPython console space. Um, I can also, let's just add some another line, print hello students. Um, so I'm gonna save that. So there I've done control S and I've saved it. And I can uh, run overview.py. Hello world, hello students. Um, and I can use uh, Unix commands, which you'll be learning or you have learned already. So I can see that this is the intro to Python folder. And I can see that there are um, overview.py is one of the files in this folder. Um, if I had not been in that directory, say if I had moved to a directory just above it, um, I wouldn't be able to run overview.py because it's not in this particular folder. There's no overview.py. So I have to go into that folder. And then there's overview.py, and I can run it. Um, let's see. So you can do print statements uh, in files. And you can do anything in files. So you can do the same as I did earlier with the command line. Um, I can make a plot. Um, but an important difference is that, so here I'm going to save it. But look, it says undefined name plot. It's telling me within the editor that I can't use this directly. I actually need to import a library, the matplotlib. Um, I need to import the library so that, um, and what's nice in the editor, it shows me all the different um, extensions to this library. Um, and I actually need the PyPlot one. And you'll learn more in, uh, uh, in, your, in the rest of the course how to do these imports and and various things. Um, and so, um, so now, if I do plt.plot, so I'm using the same structure. Again, you'll learn more about this. And then I can, um, and it will have printed to the figure.
Um, so, uh, so now you know about the different um, windows within the spider environment. And your assignment is to make sure that this runs on your setup to know that everything is installed properly. And then add just a print statement at the end of your .py file and email it to me. So I'm going to add, my name is Dr. Laura Truly, and I love teaching students. Um, so add your name and something about yourself that you want to share with me um, and send this file. Uh, as long as you know it's working properly, um, just send it as an email to me. Okay, uh, that is an overview of the spider environment for programming with Python. Enjoy!